Today I'm trying to make a rocket as simply as possible. We have some cereal box, cardboard, a big pen, um, and this is potassium nitrate and just a few other ingredients. Pen will serve as the body of the rocket. You can see I've removed the end cap, also the ink cartridge out. And so these two pieces are keeping, um, and this will be the nose cone end. Um, and then the aft end of the rocket will be down here. Um, I think that the pressure created by the, um, the propellant uh, should be withheld within the thickness of the tube. It feels very rigid and uh, so it should all redirect out the bottom. So this body, the length of the pen will become the body of the rocket. Um, there's a few pieces missing here. I got rid of the end cap and also the cartridge and tip is not necessary. And so we just have this tube and the tip, um, the tip holder here. And this will be the nose cone end. Um, I'll also be um, putting a nose cone to close off um, that surface there. And then the body of the tube is very rigid. Um, and I think that it'll be able to do a great job at holding pressure from the propellant, which will fill the space in here. And then of course a nose cone, I mean a thin can on the back end um, will be held here and that'll keep the rocket stable as it flies. This was just my prototype um, and it seems to fit really well. It's a nice design because it's made out of a single sheet of cardboard. Um, if it were multiple pieces, it'd be difficult to tape or glue or whatever. Um, and I will probably fasten it with um, glue onto the body, but the fin can is one solid piece. And um, now I'll be lasering um, a more refined version. Blue lines are just to engrave, so it'll be easier to fold. Fantastic. Um, we'll go ahead and fold it up. Wow, the uh, perforations really help. Um, oh yeah, that's that's really nice. And wow, uh, this is fitting really nicely. Um, I think it looks great. Um, and so we'll have to do some testing to make sure that that the center of pressure. Is correct. So I'm just gonna quickly tape it um, so that it'll stay together uh, so that I can do a test, a drop test to see how the center of pressure, um, see how it reacts. So the purpose of a fin can is to keep your rocket stable. If I drop it like this, um, the pressure on the back end should be higher than the pressure on the front end. Um, and depending on where the center of pressure and where the center of mass are, uh, the rocket will rotate. And if everything is done properly, the rocket should rotate towards the wind. So when it's falling, the wind is coming up on it and it should rotate into it. Um, and likewise, if the rocket is coming up, then if it's slightly off, it should rotate to correct itself. And that's what the fin can is for. Um, and so hopefully it hits the ground um, nose first. The mass of the propellant will have a huge effect on how the rotation works with the aerodynamic forces. Um, so really it's only a preliminary test and there's, um, we'd have to actually have the mass in there if we wanted to get accurate. I added a screw in here to simulate the mass of the propellant. It comes to about here, which is pretty accurate. Um, and so the center of mass is right around there, um, which is pretty far back. And when I drop it, it seems to be pretty neutrally stable. It doesn't tend towards either side. Um, so what I either need to do is um, bring my center of mass forward by possibly only putting propellant in the top half and not in the bottom half, um, or I can modify my fin can um, to be larger to move the center of pressure backwards. Because again, you want the center of pressure 
to be more aft than your center of mass, and that's what creates a stable rocket. So I have this other screw um, now in the front end to simulate moving the propellant um, up here. The center of mass is much farther up, uh, which is a good sign. When I drop it, it does a slight nose dive, which is good. It means that it's a little more stable. So in slow motion, it's easier to tell um, that it's rotating, um, but dropping it on the ground is a little bit hard in the fin can. It was just a temporary um, way to mount it. Um, but yeah, those were some pretty good Next tests. Next we'll be making the nose cone. This is a dowel rod, wooden dowel rod, and I'm gonna turn it down so that it'll press fit into here. And then I can cut it off somewhere around there, uh, flip it around and then finish off, get a smooth shape for the nose cone. So now that the rocket's shape is complete, I'm trying to do a little more sophisticated testing uh, to find the uh, center of pressure. I just have some bearings um, here that fit in the sleeve and uh, it's really smooth. And so um, using this leaf blower as a wind tunnel and I can hold it in front of here and see how the rocket rotates uh, based on the aerodynamic forces. And if I get this in the center of pressure, I'll be moving it around. And once I get it into the center of pressure, um, it should have no effect, it won't spin at all. Right now, um, no matter what orientation I put it in, it wants to point towards the wind, um, and that means the center of pressure is not in the correct place. So as the wind is passing by here, um, if it's off slightly like this, um, the center of pressure is where all the aerodynamic forces act. And so um, if it's acting right here, then that would create a torque that would cause it to spin back to normal. If the center of pressure were um, above up here, um, then a force here would cause it to flip around backwards. So that's why I know the center pressure is actually behind here, so I just need to move the rocket up a little bit and try it again. So it seems like this is about the center of pressure. Um, when I turn the wind tunnel, you can see that it doesn't necessarily face this direction. It kind of wants to until it gets to a certain point and then it kind of flips back. Um, it's probably around here somewhere. <laughs> So the rocket is rotating about the center of pressure at this point, um, but normally when the rocket's flying, it would be rotating about the center of mass. Um, but I've constrained here to the certain point. But so if you imagine the center of mass is up here somewhere, and now it were rotating about this point uh, with forces, aerodynamic force or um, pressure coming down this way, um, if it were off a little bit, again, center of pressure is down here, it would correct itself. Um, and so I want the center of mass to be forward. Um, and I can do that now by packing the powder um, up at the top and going down until the center of mass um, is still um, somewhere above my center of pressure. So this is my center of mass currently. There's no propellant yet. Uh, so I know my center of pressure is right here. So it, the rocket is stable right now because the center of mass is forward of the center of pressure, but I have to keep that in mind. Um, if I pack the, um, the propellant symmetrically around this point, then the center of mass won't change. So it looks like if I pack it symmetrically like that and fill the entire body, the center of mass won't change at all, and it will be a little bit stable. Now I think in order to improve my stability margin, I might want to move my center of mass up to more like there which mean I would have to um, not fill the bottom part. So now the last thing we need to do before adding propellant is attach the fin can. And you can see I've go ahead and, I went ahead and scuffed up um, with sandpaper um, so that a glue will um, adhere to it more tightly. Um, but I also want a flare at the bottom end I'll slide it over the top and then the flare won't stop it or won't, um, won't allow it to, to come off in this direction. So I'm just going to heat it up under hot air and press it over my tailstock here um, and it should um, increase the diameter right there at the end. And now uh, last thing to put the fin can on is a little bit of epoxy glue. Um, and I'll just give it a coating 
down here and a little bit on the fins too. It goes in place and I'll just squeeze it all together. Make sure it's at the bottom and that flare is working very nicely. Uh, it's a great diameter, so I'll just hold it in place for a few minutes until it cures. Time to add the fuel, and I made a little cardboard funnel. Uh, fits nicely in here, help me pack it, and it also doubles as a scoop. Now I'm just gonna pack it down a little bit, uh, compress it gently. So I decided to use the end cap as a nozzle. I'm just gonna drill it out here um, with a center drill and it should keep a higher pressure in the chamber. I'll launch it here uh, from this stand, but first we're gonna do a static fire uh, just to make sure that all the ignition works. So I'll light this end of the match, it'll burn down and then uh, catch the uh, fuel Let's on See fire. this thing launch. So that wasn't very exciting. Didn't actually go up. Um, there was some smoke that came out the bottom, um, but you can see the propellant did not burn past um, the fin can here. So only a little bit. Um, I have a few theories why. Uh, one, I did not actually end up using the nozzle uh, because I was having problems with the nozzle and the wick. Um, once the wick got up into the nozzle, there seemed like maybe there wasn't enough oxygen. Um, and so I had to do it without the nozzle to keep it free. Um, so that it could ignite. Uh, another thing that might have happened is uh, oftentimes there's a hole in the propellant so that there's a lot of surface area on the inside, but I don't have that because of the scale of the rocket. It'd be hard to put a tiny hole through here, um, but the only surface that was exposed is basically that cross section um, of the inside diameter of the pen. And so uh, it would have been a very slow burn um, also, without the end cap, it's possible that the pressure um, didn't get very high. The pressure uh, makes the propellant burn faster, um, and so that could have also hindered it. Um, so maybe I'll do another revision to try to get, um, to try to mitigate those problems. Um, but it at least looks like a rocket, and I also demonstrated that the uh, center of pressure and center of gravity uh, work too. I just need to get the, the propellant to work better.